Hello, this is Gio. Hey, you know, my last video, I replaced this lamp socket. Uh, it was broken. And so this is the broken lamp socket uh, that I removed. Uh, I replaced it with a working one, but I figured, you know, hey, I'm curious about the anatomy of this thing. So uh, this is where uh, you kind of twist uh, to turn it on and off there. And so I was wondering, hey, let's try to open this up and see how it ticks. Now looking at it, it looks like it has two little connectors, two little kind of uh, rivets right there, one right there, one right there. They're not screws, so I'm gonna have to drill those out. So uh, let me go ahead and take my drill very carefully, stick it in this hole right here, and then see if I can drill this out. Okay, let's try to do the other one. There you go. I, th I think it popped open. Get the, those, you can see the little rivets there. And see if I can actually get this out of here. I might, I might have to do this one a little bit more. Shoot, this is all stuck in there. Okay, so in doing that, it does look like this, which I believe was the neutral hub came off. So I, I drilled that out and that was right here. So this sat, how did this sit? Oh no, it came here. So this was connected to the neutral right there. And so that fell off when I removed that. And so this, if I kind of open up these little legs here, now this should allow me to remove this little cap here. And as I remove this, that's kind of coming off. So I, I bring this open and you can see how that works. So this little contact goes back here and then is attached to a little, let's remove this right here, oops. What just fell? That was another little contact. And then there's a little wheel here. Okay, I think I put it all back together so I know how it's constructed. So basically this little rivet here, went up here, attached to the neutral, which is right here. But uh, at that attachment point, this, it actually contacted this outer casing and that's how it became in continuity with this. So put that aside. And then of course, this little lug here and this little lug here, those uh, touched the end the po that powered the light bulb itself. So moving this carefully. Hopefully I can do this without breaking it again. Like that. Okay, so we, we turn it over. And so this little contact hit this little wheel here. If you could see, I'm turning the wheel and it's kind of turning the wheel just like that. And so this contact hit this wheel and also hits this contact as well. So as the spins, this contact here and this contact are hidden the wheel at two different locations. So uh, let's put that aside for now. We could move this up and you can see, oops, this also has a little plate here that is in contact with the wheel. So this looks like it's about to fall apart actually. Yes, indeed, look, it just fell apart. Now that was the hot end. And that's probably what was causing the issue is this little piece was in bar barely in contact with this wheel and that's probably why it wasn't working. So let's put that aside. Let's pull, pull this side out. And this also has a little spring right here. 
that sort of comes in contact with the wheel and, and it actually forms that clicking sound because this wheel, let's take this wheel out now. Take this out here, put that aside. There's a little pin here that's removed like that. And this wheel is the secret. So take this wheel out and as you move this, as you move this, this little pin kind of rotates and clicks, okay? And so when you back turn it, it actually kind of holds it in place and prevents it from turning. But as you turn it, it kind of clicks in place. The other side should click in place as well. So now if you look at this wheel closer, now this is where the magic uh, happens. So you basically see this metal on this side, this side, and this side, and they're all connected together. But there's no metal on this side. So as this turns, it's hitting three different spots, three different contacts. So uh, for the hot side, it basically has to hit these two at once. So when uh, there's basically the power comes in here, goes through here and hits the top of the light bulb, uh, which is here. So this would sit like this, or actually reverse like this. And then it would be powered by the screw that's on this side. So as this turns, and hopefully I'm turning in the right direction, yeah. So as this turns this way, here it will actually, the screw is probably on this side. So it's in contact in two places and so it's getting power it's getting power, but here, when it's in this position, if you could see that, one end is not actually in contact with this metal, and so it, there's no power there. And then when this is on, in this location, again, maybe the screw end is in contact here, but this top part is not, so it's not in contact. And so this one location, when either this is in contact like that or this where it's the screw side is in contact you don't get any power so basically when this spins in this position you get power and in this position you get power so that's how it works so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel i have many more videos to come bye bye